Hi guys, uh, Ender here from Trendspotter. Uh, welcome to another uh, recap video on other people's entries. So this is um, me applying the Trendspotter to entries called out in chat rooms. And these, uh, this chat room is the um, TradeNet chat room that's freely available on YouTube. I'll put the link below and I'll, put, I'll paste in the um, entries that the lads called out, but they're just basically uh, uh, volume watch lists really. Uh, so we have four stocks here that they called out three before 9.30 and then one at 9.37 and you can continue on in the YouTube video. It's six hours long. You can keep looking for more, but I wouldn't bother. The, the first four are usually enough. Um, so as you can see here, we have Adobe. They called out a uh, long 3.14 at 9.23. They called out SRPT, long 1.34 at 9.23. Uh, AVGO, uh, 9.24, uh, short 3.18. And Lulu, 937, long to 21. Okay, let's dive in. So Adobe, <coughs> excuse me, um, as you can see here, 930 out of the gate, starts flying straight up. Um, big, big moves there on that. But there's no real RSI pullback here, so I would have left this alone. But for your strategy style, uh, you can see that everything is aligned green here at 9.31, which for me is way too early because it could easily go against you, but it is all aligning green. Um, and this is the same as yesterday on my other video. You'll notice on Friday, Tesla and Netflix had only one red RSI and then all green. So they, they shot up. It was one minute and then they shot up for the rest of the day. So the, it was strong on Friday. But anyways, um, as you can see here, even with the pullback down, the arrows never disappeared. So this is... You could use this as an entry, um, and you're you're in the EMAs at that stage. So if it does go against you or close below the EMA, you could use that as an exit. Uh, but anyways, that shot up. So me, no, I wouldn't take this, but you can, and you can see that it, it plots the the trend nicely, anyways, and to get out up around here, wherever your exit strategy is. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, so the next one they uh, plotted was at 9:23 for SRPT long 134. Okay, so here we go. Um, so 9.30, here's the first RSI, ignore it, okay, and then the second one, we start to go along. So what we're looking for here is a green arrow with a green trend line and the piece arrow on the bottom and the green RSI. And once we have all three aligned, they're not aligned here, they're aligned here, uh, you go long. So if you went in here, long, at 133.37, uh, that was their entry was 134 long so you got in you know 70 cent early here and the, the pullback was very small 13337 down to 26 and all the way up to 38 so what kind of a move was that let's have a look 3337 up to yeah wow okay so that's a five dollar 41 move it's huge. That's a huge move. And your stop loss would not have to be that low. But uh, that's right. Is this three? Yeah. Okay. That's a $5.41 move. That's a nice move there. Um, again, take what you want out of it. But it, it was pretty much all upwards. It never looked back. Okay. Um, and as for the second move, so this is your RSI. Remember we were talking about we only like to trade three RSI. So there's one. Even though we don't count it, we count it in the amount we trade. There's two. And this is three, but there's no real signal in here. So you, you can see there's there's not a move. There's no arrows, and there's no arrows here, okay? And, and anyways, the PCR is on top, right? But if you were so inclined, you could get in on this downward move. And the second uh, downward trend meter is here, where? Here. So your entry there would be 133.52 down to 131. So what are we talking about there? I like these little uh, things here for calculation. I used to do this all the time by hand, but uh, this is much faster. Um, so there. So that's a two dollar twenty one move. Okay, nice and easy. Um, there was a was there a small yeah there was a little pullback to there to break even and then down again. So you could have taken some profit, maybe here, at one dollar twenty four. That's more than enough, guys. If you can get over a dollar, you're doing well as far as I'm concerned. Um, but that's just me. And the reason I'm showing you these. Um, these other stocks, by the way, is I only trade Tesla and Netflix and Roku pretty much, but I wanted to look back over and see what other guys were trading and see what uh, stocks are out there that are cheaper. And these are, well, this is much cheaper anyways. And AVGO, this is another expensive one. 
Okay, so let's have a look. ABGO, they called short 318 at 924. So 924, that's pre-market. And here's the madness that happens out of the gate. So we ignore that. That's one RSI done. So here is RSI 2. Okay, so we're looking and we're looking for an entry and the entry is not there and not here. Now, let, let me just explain why you're not getting in here. Okay. Yes, everything's aligned. Yes, the PSR is on the bottom. But if you look at the previous candle, that PSR is on top. So in order for that PSR to go down here, this candle opened and there was no PSR on top. It had to push up and break the PSR. So you really have to wait until the PSR was confirmed because half of that move could have been spent breaking that PSR and reversing it. So if this PSR was too behind, like here, then that would have been an entry. Wouldn't have been a great entry, mind you, but like the system shows you that, so it's the next PSR. So because there's no arrow, you don't get in. So you missed it, but just as well. So the system avoided that move, and that's the point. It avoids should avoid moves. It doesn't avoid all the moves. And here's your third PSR. So PSR 1, 9.30 to 9.30 or 45, sorry, RSI. And then RSI 2, and then here we go, number 3. So we go to here, here. This is your entry. So let's have a look at that. Short position here. And what are we dealing with here? Yeah, so that's a $2.88 move. So yeah, if you can handle $2.88, you can take out of that what you can. That's a nice move. Uh, I wouldn't worry about spread or anything in that. You'll, you'll definitely get your $2.50 out of it. Um, and again, I mean, look, you can keep trading these, like this one especially. Any of the bigger price stocks like that do big, big moves. Look, I mean, that's that's what they do. Like Shopify and these guys, that's just, they move um, heavy movers. Okay, let's go on to Lulu. I heard them complaining about Lulu on uh, Friday, yesterday, that it was just stopping people out and mashing people. So let's have a look. So Lulu uh, they came in at 9.37 was the post. So they posted the entry at 9.37 for a long 221. You can have a look at them below as well. You'll see them in my text. So long 221, which is where? Which is... I can already tell that this is not going to be easy. So, oh, okay. Sorry, one second. Um, two, two, one. Okay, so, and just to be clear, I wouldn't, just because they, just because anybody in any chat room, okay, they're educated guesses, really, just because they put in a, an entry, long 221 or short whatever, I would trust a trend spotter over anyone's technical analysis, always, 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 I've been in plenty of trades in chat rooms where people say you go long and I follow against my charts and I lose. So I know for a fact that you're better off following the trend um, trend spotter. But in saying that, what I like about chat rooms is that they do all the uh, pre-market analysis where they have picked five or seven stocks. Now you can have your own uh, scanners, you can use um, whatever the one Ross uses, uh, Ross Cameron in Warrior Trading, it's uh, tr Trade Ideas. You can use the one built into, um, excuse me, sorry, I have hiccups. Um, you can use the one built into TradingView um, or in any of your brokers probably have some kind of rudimentary uh, scanners. But uh, Trade Ideas is a very good one actually and Ross's one are, are very good. But anyways, the chat rooms called them out. You can get them on YouTube. So moving on, Lulu, 221. So here we are. So we, because when you heard about this at 9.37, so we're kind of getting late. So I'm viewing that as 9.30 now. Um, so that's the first RSI, and here's your second move, and your red down here. So if you got in here, at, um, and, and the re I like them pre-market because I like to be able to get the momentum early out of the gate. I don't like getting in halfway through the day because you don't know what shape the stock is in. So let's look at this here. That is a 70 cent move which isn't great, but you could get 40 to 50 cent out of it with a 20 cent um, to slip on it. Okay, and the next move would be over here, here. And again, yeah, so this is what they're on about. Lulu was killing people. Okay, so if you got in here, you would have got in at the high and uh, that would have been a losing trade. I can't see anybody being, and even like all the arrows are still pointing up because there is upward pressure, but it's going down. 
So, <clears throat> yeah, that's a losing trade, really. That's a winning trade. That's a losing trade. Uh, and then you just ignore that because you're still in it and the green's green down the bottom. So you ignore that, you ignore that, and then you're over here to the red. And you're in 1043 now. So, yeah, this is an example of Lulu chopping people up, okay, um, and taking no prisoners. Look at that. I mean, if you're getting out break even here, you're lucky. And eventually you catch a trend move. So I'm not interested in stocks where you catch a trend move uh, two hours into the day because you don't know when that trend move could start. That trend could start here. Actually, there is a sell order there, so you, you shouldn't get in there. Um, but that could start here. You don't know when you're only looking at the next one candle. You know, this could be the big one right here. Um, now, you can kind of tell with volume. You can see the volume kind of kicks in here and it starts to move it. But um, yeah, so no interest in Lulu there. Never really trade it. But any of the stocks that people post pre-market, usually they're the ones to watch. Um, but again, this can be for your own strategy, for your own tickers. Um, I did a small cap on there recently. I'm going to start doing more of those small caps. I'll start pulling them in and running them through the trend spotter to see if they um, see if it's holding up. But uh, so far, so good. And it's serving me very well anyways. So look, I won't keep rambling on. Um, that's it. That's all I have to say about it. Uh, anyone, if you want a trial of it, just let me know. I'm working on getting this script published. Um, and yeah, okay. Have a good weekend.